Hello, and we're here on the lakefront at the Alla Planetarium in Chicago, where they're hosting the National Day of Civic Hacking. The National Day of Civic Hacking brings together youth and professionals. These professionals specialize in certain fields such as astrophysics, engineering, and auto mechanics. The youth and professionals work together in order to attack certain social issues of their choice using technology from modern times. The youth has broken down into four groups, and in the next 36 hours, they will be developing an app that will help them solve their social issue. Let's go check it out. While civic cabin competitions are going on all around the country, today at the Alla Planetarium, the youth are the focus. There are 95 events going on. There's three in Chicago. Um, you guys are going to be the coolest, okay? Youth leaders from around Chicago have been meeting with their peers and hearing their most pressing social concerns. The four issues that were decided upon for today that we're going to work on uh, involve um, sexual and reproductive health, um, food access. The third is um, about immigration and undocumented labor. And the last um, is uh, peer mentoring and, uh, and positive role models. Um, and peer pressure. Today, the youth will be calling the shots. They are dividing up and picking teams. Let's meet them. We're about to introduce the first team to the National Hack Day. Come with me. The first team goes by the name of Clean Slate, and their issue focuses on undocumented workers, focusing on raising awareness for these undocumented workers to find new opportunities in order to better their lives. We're kind of those brainstorming ideas and we got to a point where we thought, hey, how about an app that can help undocumented workers go through the process of getting a worker's permit? I kind of try to put you guys on the spot here. Why is the name of the team Clean Slate? You know, I, I think a lot of the undocumented workers that are out there feel scared and, and unsure of what they can do. Um, but in our minds, their life is the clean slate. That's the kind of the goal is for them to start a life, a legal life, you know, where they can work and, and earn a living wage. The group's working out well. Like I said, I kind of recruited people and now they're kind of stuck with us. But I think ever since I started kind of just taking people be like, hey, hey, come over here. I'm asking you a question. Um, it's flowed a lot better. And so you feel confident? Yes, I feel confident. I feel like we're going to have the best app today. Jesus is a college student studying industrial and organizational psychology. While he doesn't consider himself a hacker, he hopes his experience studying complex systems will help Team Clean Slate understand undocumented immigration. I have family who is undocumented right now, um, but I really don't know much of their struggles but I would want to learn more ab about, about it and just kind of put myself in that perspective. The team we'll be visiting is called Fresh Moves. Their social issue is on food deserts in Chicago. Let's meet them. We're here to create um, solutions that we can implement into an app that can help people with um, with basically accessing fresh produce and things of that nature. Janae is a college student from Chicago. She also has limited experience with a computer, so she is relying on her passion for the subject matter at hand. She's checking to see what her teammates and team Fresh Moves knows about food deserts. You understand what I mean? Like at the gas station, the north side, you can find a right. banana and a yeah. orange, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, how is it possible it doesn't get 10 miles off? Yeah, the, the face of the war is now obese. You no longer have an issue getting the right amount of calories. My first impression of our group is that we're a very highly intellectual crowd. We've got four astrophysicists. I'm a mechanical engineer. We've got a Chicago urban school teacher. Um, and a great youth leader that sounds very excited about the problem and solving the issues. Um, so I'm very excited to get started. Now we've met the teams. Have they picked worthy challenges or have they bitten off more than they can chew? Remember, they have just one day to produce something, anything. If they go too big, they might end up with nothing and the clock is ticking.
This might be a problem for Team Clean Slate. They appear to be starting from zero. Miriam is walking them through some basic immigration legislation. But deferred action is basically um, an executive order that allows undocumented youth to get a work permit. People didn't know what deferred action was, and so that was the first step right now, like figuring out the team is like comes from different backgrounds. So we have someone in sales who was like, "What? Why should we pitch this to anybody?" Um, so I think I think we'll we're gonna come up with something. And now that we're talking about it more, it's like ideas are coming in to like create an actual app. Give them like an automated text message or something when their status changes or something like that. I don't know. Jesus is interested in bringing information from various sources into a one-stop website where undocumented workers can find everything that they need to know. But what language should it be in? Obviously, like being uh, yeah, like undocumented, right. they they wouldn't understand. Like, they, they'd see the information, but they wouldn't really understand it. Oh, how do you feel about the stereotype that it's all um, Latin immigrants or it's all you know Spanish-speaking immigrants? We actually address that um, because we realize that immigration isn't just something from Latin America or Spanish-speaking countries. We're thinking of maybe having Mandarin or uh, Spanish or Polish or other languages that they could understand. First thing we're doing is we're processing, we're finding all the data we can and anything to do with food deserts. We're going to be processing that da data within the next hour and hopefully finding information about where the food deserts exist, how severe they are, and hopefully come up with, I don't know, has anyone found solutions to this problem already? Julie is an engineer that helps design large structures like hospitals. She knows Team Fresh Moves doesn't need to reinvent the wheel here. She suggests they look for some innovative approaches to food deserts from around the country. What I hope to get out of today is um, I've actually learned a lot from um, my team, um, just working with the um, technicians. I'm enjoying working with them and learning about research data and just finding out different things that, different sites that you can actually look up in order to find out things about the city and actually make a difference and inform people about it. Meanwhile, over at Team Clean Slate, they appear to be going in a new direction. Someone has suggested an anonymous complaint form. And right now we got to the point where we're thinking about um, some sort of anonymous portal, you know, the kind of uh, mention where there's, you know, either discrimination, low wages, or, you know, um, lack of health care, or um, lack of job security happening at. But not all undocumented workers have a laptop to pull up a website. Clean Slate has a unique challenge of making their technical solution kind of low tech. Websites are sometimes cumbersome. You can get an app that get, got some traction, maybe, yeah. or even like a, a like a tweet tag or like a, a text a text based solution. Yeah. I, I gotta imagine even undocumented workers have like pay as you go phones for like, yeah, like 10, 20 bucks a, a month. Some sort of setup where like you text, you know, 808. You know, like one of those short, short code, yeah. Get, like... A breakthrough has happened at Team Fresh Moves. They've discovered a bus that delivers fresh produce to neighborhoods around the city. If they hurry, they might be able to catch up with the bus. So we're actually heading out to a food desert right now. Um, there is a service in Chicago that actually provides uh, fresh food and produce on trucks. So we're interested in what the prices are, how they compare to typical grocery stores, and if there's any room for improvement. We're also interested in taking footage out there and seeing what it's like to live in a location such as a food desert. No such breakthrough here at Clean Slate. Rather than simplify their idea, the team has determined that they must expand it. We went away from our original approach uh, to this issue uh, from being just a digital presence to kind of a, an overall marketing campaign uh, to raise awareness about um, the DREAM Act process. One of the things that we've got to worry about is awareness of that this resource even exists. So the other piece is a marketing campaign. I think we're going to focus on bus stops and buses probably, but actually that links people to what we're building. So kind of two pieces. The food bus. Awesome idea. 
The idea we had, and that they stole from us. Here we go. The team has tracked down the bus. They've decided to buy a few groceries to bring back to their teammates at the Allied Planetarium. Grocery shopping is done. Now we can go back to work. Perfect. Cheers. As we were leaving, he just threw us the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> this was this was this is this. Is this. Pound, it's not Wait, pound. that's a lot. Is this food Dollar from the beans. truck that you guys just went to? Yeah. Fresh Moves is back with their groceries, and they have finally settled on their idea as the day draws to a close. Another idea we've come up with is to develop an app which we can push out to the city, we can push out to whomever has a smartphone that would follow where these food trucks are, where the locations are going to be, update um, on maybe even what foods the trucks have that week and um, get them ideas on what foods they can make, that it's healthy and things like that. Day one is now over. The hackers are going to stay behind through the night and work hard on their apps because the deadline is tomorrow. Now they better have their apps finished in order to make sure that their social issues are fought successfully. We'll be back with more tomorrow. the second day of the National Day of Civic Hacking, where the groups have to finish their project by 11 o'clock. Let's see if they'll make it. It's morning, and when we go meet Team Clean Slate, we find that Jesus is flying a hovercraft. Is this related to your project? <laughs> uh, well, it's related in the way where we want to have fun and take a break. My weakness is, is I, didn't, I didn't know how to, uh, you know, obviously hack. I didn't know how to code. I didn't know how to you know, design anything. So at a point, I was just um, helping at, with what I could help. Do you think you'll meet the deadline? Um, I think we'll have a lot done for it. I don't know if we'll have 100% completed, but. How was your chemistry with your with your partners over the last 12 hours or 24 hours? Oh, I think I think it's pretty good. I think we, we work for, for very well as a team, so. There's been no drama, no fighting? Unfortunately, no, no exciting drama or anything. <laughs> Okay, it just hit 11 o'clock. Time is up and the teams have to present their solutions. And we've created dozens of apps, websites, and visualizations to represent the issues and solutions that we've come up with over the last 30 hours. So uh, without further ado, um, I want to let the people who did the work say more about it. Um, so here's a picture of Fresh Moves, the truck. They go to these areas in the park and people can actually shop um, in this uh, what is a converted CTA bus. I had a great time. I feel like I learned a lot about food deserts in general and about some of the issues that uh, that Chicago youth, ha youth have. Um, I absolutely will be coming back next year. I think it was a great experience. If they get uh, the DACA, they could extend it two years after the initial two years. But that's uh, another process. And also, like we said, there's a mobile app that kind of gives them all the resources about the application. The issues I'm interested in is inequality, such as discrimination, um, and just in terms of migrant workers, that's a population that hasn't really been talked about. I think as new generations of um, IO professionals uh, start going to grad school, and the more of them will start being more minorities, um, we'll get, start getting a better understanding of undocumented population. At the end of the day, all four groups presented their solutions to the public, and after 36 hours, we learned that competition isn't the most important aspect of this hackathon. I think the spirit of hacking uh, isn't necessarily always about the solution. Um, the solution's important, but one thing that's really important to science um, especially, and I'm a scientist, is the process of discovery. So uh, what we may not be doing today is solving the world's problems, and there is probably no killer app to make STDs go away. <laughs> um, that That's, you know, not always the goal. Yeah. Um, I think our goal is to engage people in the activity of looking and seeking for solutions. I think what we're doing is we're motivating people, inspiring people to search for solutions, to talk to each other, and we're bringing together people who may not usually work together to think differently about problems.